friends, welcome to another episode of Lifestyle Level Up. Today we got another box of goodies to open up full of mysteries and a mysterious castle to explore because we are playing We Were Here. It's a co-op puzzle game from Total Mayhem Games and have to give huge props to our sponsor, FabFitFun, the superb subscription service that sends a box full of awesome stuff for you to open once per season. So we're going to be opening up our boxes along with my guest, and I would like to introduce her to you now. Today's guest is Jasmine Bular. I'm so excited to be here, Becca. How are you? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm doing excellent because I love puzzles and oh. I'm so excited to solve one with you. I know, I feel like we're gonna crush it. Famous last words. Mm, definitely gonna crush it. <laughs> nothing nothing uh, foreboding or superstitious about it. We are going to nail this puzzle game and I've never played before, so I don't really know what to expect mm -hmm. except that we are going into a castle hmm. and we need each other and walkie talkies. Yeah, yeah. I did play a little bit of, I think a demo of this, like a, f a handful of years ago but I don't remember too much about it, so I'm kind of in the same boat as you. <laughs> awesome. And you also have received a wonderful box of goods yes. from FabFitFun. I have it here with Perhaps me. Perhaps at some point you will share some, some of your goodies with us. Yeah, I'm excited too. Maybe some of them will come in use in getting out of this uh, castle. Yeah, I think definitely when I think trapped in a castle, I think beauty products are the way to escape. Or the way to safely quarantine in the castle. <laughs> There you go. Why would you try and leave yeah. a castle? You go from prisoner to princess. That's the only difference. You just need a beauty regimen. Perfect. All right. Should we get into it? Yes, let's do it. Hello? Hello. I hear you in the game. Yes. It, am okay. I the one sitting on the floor? Or are you? <laughs> well, one of us is an explorer, explorer and one is a librarian. Ah, um, Librarior. <laughs> I see. Librarior Explorian. Huh. <laughs> I have I'm gonna an uncle say the explorer that. is standing up. Librarians fall down more often? Is that is that uh, generalizing is that too much canon? about librarians? <laughs> <laughs> I would That's believe canon. it. I don't see why not. Okay. I believe it. I, why not? You you are my guest and I would like you to pick. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like an explorer or a librarian today? I want to be the lazy person sitting on the ground. And since we agreed that that was the librarian, I'm going to choose the sedentary lifestyle this time around. Perfect. Love it. OK. <laughs> Let's go for it. You ready, Freddy? I'm hitting ready. I don't know if we'll be able to talk while we're in the castle. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. <laughs> it could be. Oh, Wait, I have to tell you something really important. Okay, there's snow where I am. <gasps> oh, look, I have friends, but they left me behind. They went to go check out a mountain. Huh. Exploring the Arctic. In my head cannon. Super this is trendy goggles. Becca. She can't hear me right now. Fur is a good choice I want you, for these temperatures, I, want you to I would know guess. That this is definitely me and her together. Man. I miss Jasmine. I wonder what she's doing. That's me with the flare gun. Because I would have the forethought Flares. to bring that, I think. I think. Carefully. It's good for warding off bears and unwanted Wait a minute. Seniors. Did we shoot a flare into the air and now the castle arrived? Oh. This I also feel like I would be the first stuff. to go into the castle. A foolhardy and overconfident notion. <gasps> I'm in a shadow. What is this behind us? Oh, are those our little Darkness hands? has fallen. <laughs> oh my God, our, our friends are dead. Like, Jasmine, knocked out, Jasmine, please, something. are you okay? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess what we were here, past happening. tense. I should have known. Okay. Well, we're game over. Get out of here. Um, that was fun. Ah, <gasps> okay. Oh, okay. I believe the game is beginning. Okay. I'm. I've got a candle. All right, I do know. Becca. I can only talk. <gasps> I hear you. Can can you can you hear me? Becca, can dost thou hear me? <laughs> oh, bronze girl. Ha hi. <laughs> hey. That gargantuan individual ripped us apart, but I am here. I am alive. 
Oh, we were ripped apart? I just saw mittens on the ground. I oh, I thought that just, was us uh, like reaching for each other and then being separated. Is that not what that was? <laughs> Yikes. Okay, these walkie-talkies are poor quality. And if one of us is talking, then the other one, uh, I don't know if the other person's hearing. We'll have to Over. use the right vernacular and be like, uh, B2, this is B1. Uh, do you copy? Over and out. B1, this is B2. I do copy over and out. I think there's no flaw in the system. Over. System is solid. Over. Uh, B2, B2. What, what is your location at this time? <laughs> <laughs> over. Did I hear an over? <laughs> I invented the system. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Over. <laughs> uh, B2, oh, I, uh, I am oh, aware sorry. that um, as B1, B2 I created B1. the system and then forgot to use it over. <laughs> <laughs> B2 for B1. The answer lies is written in blood on the wall. Over. Uh, can, can, can you run that by me one more time, B2? Over. B1, I have um, blood writing that says the answer lies, and I have nine symbols on the opposite wall. Over. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, B2, I have between the eyes written in blood on a book here. And uh, I have some corresponding eyeballs uh, on on my wall. Over. What the fuck? Over. <laughs> I've got a I've got a book with bloody writing in it that says between the eyes, and then I have a poster on a wall with eyeballs on it and symbols in between. Over. <laughs> The answer lies between the eyes. Over. Uh, yes, I had gathered that B two. However, uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what these symbols <gasps> mean. Over. <laughs> oh God, the over is for some reason. B one, describe the symbol between the eyes. Over. B2, you will need to prepare for the things I'm about to tell you. Okay, the first one is an A with a T, like kind of embedded in it, with what looks to be, um, to be quite honest, uh, a posterior, maybe with a stick up it. I'm not sure. Um, and then that <laughs> symbol is again in the second row. And there's a circle with a, a line drawn through it vertically and an X. And then underneath that, I've got an, a fancy N or maybe a slide and an M. And what else do I have on here? I've got a, a, a fire stick. You know, that's what it looks like to me. Um, two individuals <gasps> kissing passionately. Stick people, though, with triangle faces. And uh, uh, I also have colors. Uh, the eyes are different colors. I don't know if those colors maybe mean something. Over. <laughs> that was a lot of information, B1. Uh, I do confirm I have all the same symbols and I am able to click them. Over. Uh, B1, uh, I found the book, B2. To this uh, book crack okay, so with it's got some symbols on it. it. Over. And on the back it says... Before one starts in the east, take one step westward, then start by taking two steps north, take one more step north, but not before moving one step west, go west some more until one hits the wall, then head straight for the door. Over. <laughs> Copy that. I heard it, but I didn't understand it. Over. 
Uh, it may be information relevant for another time, B2. Over. Thanks for that, B1. Over. Hey, B1, let's go back to what's between the eyes specifically and the order. Over. I'm going to be honest with you, B2. There is a lot here. <laughs> There's, there are many, many symbols. Over. B1, uh, I, all I need is the ones between the eyes in order. Over. But... Oh. Hey, B1, can you let me confirm after each one in between the eyes so I can keep up with you? Over. Uh, affirmative. Hearing you loud and clear, B2. Okay, so the first one is between two blue eyes, and it's an A with a T inside, and then um, a, a lady's posterior with something emerging from it. Over. B1, your descriptions made perfect sense to me. All I need is some sort of sequence. Over. I got you, B2. Uh, there are some colors uh, for these eyes. I believe maybe they could be used to indicate the order of the symbols. Do you see colors anywhere around you, B2? Over. B1, all I see is a door with some sort of gate in front of it with purple gems of some sort. Over. Purple gems, you say. Uh, B2, I'm going to push a button. Uh, let me know if you see anything. Over. Get nothing. Over. Okay, I believe that may be an unrelated uh, sort of th th thing. Over. Okay, so uh, the the symbols. I'm just I'm gonna start reading them off. I think I believe there is some sort of pattern. I cannot ascertain what that pattern is. Over. Copy that. I have nine symbols here to choose from, and I can click on them in a sequential pattern. Over. Ah, I see. Uh, however, B2, uh, the, I have more than nine symbols here. Over. That's some tricky-dicky stuff you got there, B1. Over. Uh, some of these eyes are mismatched. I'm wondering if maybe that has something to do with it. Over. I do have colors, and I lied to you. My eyes are blue. Over. Your your eyes are blue. Ha. Okay. All right. All right. So I will <laughs> I will list off the symbols, and uh, uh, B two. I'm just gonna need you to confirm after every set of two I give you. So uh, the first two are the same. There's an A with a T inside of it, and uh, a, a a posterior with a post. Over. Achievement unlocked. Over. Perfect. Do you need more symbols? Over. <gasps> Door is open. Over. Perfect. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Door opened on my end as well. Over. Love doors. Over. I see a, a lot of weird looking creatures that are Mildly disturbing, to say the least, with the uh, symbols underneath them. Over. <gasps> oh, God, that thing has a butt face. Um, uh, go for B2. Also seeing creepy uh, monkey feet, snail posterior, and s human skull head portraits with three empty slots below it. Over. <gasps> three, three empty slots. Uh, uh, B2, I have symbols underneath uh, the portraits. If you want to describe to me uh, the, the portraits, I could give you the symbols one by one. Over. Go for B2. That sounds uh, hunky-dory. I've got a wall full of square symbols that look like they fit underneath this portrait, and I just need to know which three go with a, a monkey snail human skull. Over. 
Monkey snail, human skull. Uh, I got it. I got your got your mark here. Uh, that is gonna have a uh, a menorah with a a house that looks surprised and a turtle on a stick. Over. <laughs> I don't know if that's a menorah. <laughs> I'm I'm just winging it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Be one that made total sense over <laughs> <laughs> perfect we're vibrating on the same frequency b2 over <laughs> vibrations confirmed over <laughs> uh did the did the pieces fit we got a menorah we got a surprised house and i forgot the third one over uh the third one was a turtle on a stick i don't know what type of sick individual would do something like that, but that's what it is, over. Most unfortunate for the turtle, but I got it right here, over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Wait, what does that mean? Ah! We got some happy sounds going on, over. Yeah, achievement unlocked. Like to see it. One does enjoy seeing it, over. Uh, uh, what, 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 uh, did, did something else open for you? Uh, nothing changed in this New room. New room, over. confirmed, over. Going down some stairs, over. All right. I said Check over, but I didn't let go. I think we, we have talked over each other a little bit there. I'm not sure. B1? Over. Uh, yes, B2. Uh, we're flooding with water. Uh, B1, over. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what, what do you see? Can you describe the room you're in to me? Over. Color is green, over. D uh, green. Oh. Uh, th there's a green book. Uh, it says, uh, in the western corner lies your start. Keep moving north, but watch your step. Before the last tile you must head east does that make sense b2 over not at all b1 over okay uh oh oh a door opened over here b2 i'm gonna i'm gonna head down and see if i can uh, uh, find you over <laughs> sounds good to be, be i'm underwater here though over. oh there's there's uh there's pulleys here Okay, uh, but uh, uh, you said green. There's not a green lever. I've got yellow, red, and blue. Over. I'm going to go with yellow and blue then to make green. Over. <gasps> Water is receding. Over. Thou art quick on your feet. Over. Death was on my heels, and they are wet heels now. Over. Uh, th that's quite all right. Uh, I, I will carry you, madam, so you do not have to walk in your wet shoes. Okay, uh, B1, that was very stressful. Can we just take a break and open up our FabFitFun boxes <laughs> for a second and see what's in there? I think we <laughs> earned it. You almost died. I think we earned I it. I almost died. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think we should. <laughs> okay. So, um, I, what am I wearing? I, I'm wearing my Kate Spade earrings. Oh, very nice. I'm gonna, I'm Thank gonna you. opt for the guardian angel eye masks because I love I eye masks. Too. And, <laughs> and we just did that eye puzzle and the entire time I was like, if you don't want your eyes to look like these, <laughs> you need you something better to like up. rejuvenate that area, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so these are the Butanique Beauty Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. Are you going to put some on? Yeah, I'm going to try them on. Um, I am wearing a little bit of makeup right now, but I should still benefit. <gasps> oh, I'm not. They're actually like glittery. Oh, and they're shaped like wings. Wow. I've actually busted into these already. This is my take two of my eye masks. Oh, really? Oh, I turned it upside down. Now they're on my keyboard. <laughs> oh my god, they're so cool. Oh, you look glamorous with them on. Right? They're so glittery. And I look like it, this is like a character I'm playing. 
You get the world too high. Ooh, ooh, yes. Yes, we have Valkyries. Right? I love like that they're shaped like wings. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, they feel so nice and cool. They really do. I never, oh. I always think like no matter how long your day is, I love doing an eye mask. It's really the ultimate self care. A, a face mask or an eye mask mm -hmm. is really just, it tells you to zen out a little bit. Just stop thinking about what's stressing you out and just be masked. Do you know what I love using these for? Like a little kind of like, I don't know, like trick I have? Life hack? Yeah. So if you're ever doing like a really big eye look and you're afraid of your eyeshadow falling out over your face, all you have to do is like slide on some eye masks and it'll catch your eyeshadow fall out. And it'll like hydrate and soothe your skin. Well, that is just genius. Yeah. That way, you know, when your eyeshadow falls down, you just, you peel it all off and you're like all hydrated and your foundation isn't messed up. Bronze, you always have incredible makeup looks. <laughs> I know you are known for your ferocious eyebrows and I applaud them. Thank you. I love them. I sometimes dream about them. <laughs> My, I feel like my eyebrows are like polarizing like either they come off as like super aggressive or people like them and there's like nothing in the middle mm, anybody that says that they're aggressive they really like them <laughs> I think there's either like or really like it's like when you it's like just... tease that person that you like have a crush on yes by the way if anybody goes to your stream uh they might get roasted yeah fact, right yeah like I'm usually <laughs> I'm nice to people until like they're mean and then i'm i firmly believe in putting that energy right back out there you know what i mean <laughs> i like to suck it up and like swallow it and destroy it <laughs> is that oh i'm so, so I, but but you know at the same time it's like oh you must be in a lot of pain if you would say such a rude thing so yeah let just let's talk about your issues right now <laughs> right yeah <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes, like, it's like, here's what I always compare it to. I compare it to, like, everybody's chilling in an elevator and someone comes in and they just, like, let it rip, you no, know? It. <laughs> they just crop dust everybody. And it's like, there's two types of people in the world. There's the type that is like, well, we could ignore this. We could just all sit here in silence and deal with the stench. But then there's me that's like, did you really just do that? Yeah, excuse <laughs> what you. What did you eat? Wow. <laughs> To a total stranger mm -hmm. in an elevator. Mm -hmm. And that's my approach to online harassment. <laughs> that's excellent. Because mm -hmm. then and we can I all have a good... I go in an elevator without you. I would feel right? unsafe. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be like, why did you do that to all of us? <laughs> well, I'll just need to channel my inner Jasmine. There you in go. In situation. I channel my inner Becca always. I did for that nice. puzzle we just solved. <gasps> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, for the longest time, I couldn't figure out that eyes were blue when you were asking what color are eyes. <laughs> I know. And now but, these eye masks are blue. And I feel <laughs> like it's all come full circle. <laughs> the box knew. Mm -hmm. The clue was right mm -hmm. there. And I know mm -hmm. I, I know everybody was like, oh, what do you mean? How are how are beauty products going to help us, you know, get out of this castle? If we had done our eye masks <laughs> earlier, we would have gotten that first puzzle done faster. We would have. We would have said, wow, eyes are blue. Eyes are blue. <laughs> exactly. We would have gone for the blue eyes, then we would have won. Boom. This is perfect. <laughs> okay. Are we ready to game some more? I am. My face feels cool. My heart rate has gone down a little bit after, you know, almost drowning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. B1, is that you? Over. I hear you loud and clear. Over. Found a new door. Over. Uh, what do you see around this door, B2? Over. <laughs> I found some gates that I can open and close with the switch. Over. Uh, let me see if I've got any, uh, gates on this side. Over. It was all on me. Over. I found a new room. Very nice, B2. Over. What's in this new room? I said over early, but that's fine. Just got some blood writing that says, bring down the guiding light. Over. Bring down the guiding light. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna investigate. Over. 
copy that B1. I'm actually in a very large room. It's got a pool table and some hallways. Gonna explore over. Hmm. Bring the light down. I just saw a body being dragged over. That's a little creepy. Probably stay away from the body dragger B2. Over. Could have been a shadow. She's gonna I'm die. Matrix, but pretty sure there was a dead body being dragged. She's, she's That's all gonna over. Die. Okay. What is that? Got is a that... portrait of a slobbery dog. Over. A, a portrait of a slobbery dog. Uh, don't see anything matching that description over here, B2. Over. More stuff. Okay. There's our main room, guiding light, going straight. I and... think. Okay, so. <gasps> Chains. Ha! Huh? No, can't pull. Uh, 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 I I discovered something. Over. That sounds pretty cool. Over. There's a light to activated map. Over. Uh, or no, not over. There's uh, three colors on it: uh, white, green, red, and blue. Uh, with an arrow pointing at the entrance and an arrow pointing at the exit. I don't know if uh, this uh, matches anything you may have seen. Over. B1, I am wandering around many hallways. And above me, or right in front of me, one gate has a blue gem. Over. <gasps> Is there a staircase behind you, B2? We got a staircase going down behind me and a staircase going up in front of me. Over. All right. Uh, I uh, I think I know what to do, B2. I just I got a map. I'm going to try to get you out of there. Over. Sounds like sweet relief, B1. Over. All right, B2. So I'm going to need you to backtrack to a room... Wait, I'm assuming this gate is closed. Am I correct in that assumption, B2? Over. Blue gate is open. Green gate is closed. Over. Ah, I know exactly where you're at. So, uh, while you're facing uh, green gate, B2, I'm going to need you to turn around until you hit a dead end. Uh, go right and then take your first left. Over. Copy that. T turning left. Over. Red gate. Uh, yeah, so go through Red Gate, and then uh, go ahead and go upstairs, and then to your right. Did over. I have to go left before I went up those stairs? Over? Uh, yeah, so you're going to want to go through the open Red Gate, and then go left up the stairs. You should see a red gate uh, on your right. That is the exit. Over. In front of red gate now. Over. All right. Now I've got some very unique instructions for you. I'm going to tell you where the gr switch is to open the green gate. Oh, but we never opened blue gate. Okay. Just a second, B2. I've got to keep turning this light on. So I can see the map. Um, and I... All right. I figured out how to enlarge the map, B2. Um, I also realize now there are switches on here. Um, so you are standing in front of the closed red gate, correct? Copy that. In front of closed red gate. Enlarging is always uh, for the better. Or sometimes. Uh, over. B2, do you know how to get back to that green gate that was closed? I'll work on finding my way over. Okay, so here's what I think is going to happen. I think when she comes way? back and here, go I'm going to direct her to come here. We go. Hit the blue switch. <laughs> That'll close this uh, one, but open over. this one. From there, she can hit okay, the green switch. Um, hmm. That'll <laughs> open this one, but close this one. And then she okay. can come here, hit the blue switch again, come through here, Hit the red switch and then backtrack Found the green gate this over. Spot. Okay. The directions I'm about to give you, B2, are very complex, but I'm going to need you to trust me. While facing the green gate, do you see stairs going upstairs on your right? When you're facing green gate, if you look at the back right corner of the room, there should be stairs going up. Over. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
God! Ah! These eye patch jellies are uh, not uh, hold, please. cooling enough right now. Um, okay. They are down from where I am on Green Gate. Over. Uh, okay, go ahead and go through those and tell me if you see a blue gate. Over. I don't know if I'm trying. I'm hoping she's not Copy. going this way. Got that blue gate. Over. It's open. Perfect. I'm going to need you to go through that. Follow that hallway until you hit uh, the end of it and then take the first stairs that go into a room with a bunch of boxes and hit that blue switch. Over. So these will be... Boxes. Yeah, this, I mean, this should be... Blue I think switch. as soon as she comes around here, she'll see it. Now I'm just wandering. Don't see any boxes. Over. Um... There should be a staircase uh, leading up or down. I can't tell the orientation of the stairs into a room with some uh, three boxes and a cord of wood, I believe. Over. Found oh, three boxes and a ladder. Over. And a ladder. It, it, is, it could be a ladder. Do you see a blue switch there anywhere? Over. <gasps> see the switch. Over. Go ahead and hit it. Switch is hit. Over. Okay, so now I'm going to need you to go back up or down those stairs. And instead of going right, go left. Past an open white gate. Don't go through the white gate. Keep going until you enter another room with boxes. And let me know when you get there. Looking at some barrels in a room. Over. Perfect, B2. So you're going to see some stairs behind you. Not the ones you came up. Go through the other ones, that blue our, our gate barrels. that, uh, so you're going to reach a T-junction, go right, and then you should reach a blue gate that is now open. I'm in the room and I see I could go left or right out of this room. Over. I, bl I think I know where you are. It, it go right? And then, did, did you see the open blue gate? Over. Standing by the open white gate. Over. Oh, she's by the open white gate. Okay. So uh, from the open white gate, while facing the open white gate, go left and then immediately go right. I went back to the white gate. I think I might be on the other side of that white gate. Over. I'm on the side without stairs. Over. Oh, okay. You're on the stairs. So here's what we're going to do. Can you go through the open white gate to the closed white gate so we can start kind of at the same orientation? I'm not on the stairs. I'm on the side without stairs. Over. Okay, so she said the side without stairs. Perfect. All right, so go through the open white gate. Go left and then immediately go right. That makes more sense. Over. Mm-hmm. And keep going till you hit a T-junction. At the tea over. We got a slobbery dog here. Uh, I, I don't know about the dog, but go right and then left through an open blue gate. Through the blue, B1 over. I love to hear it, B2. Okay, so there should be a switch in there uh, for a green gate. I'm going to need you to open that. See the switch moving towards it. Perfect. Okay. Okay. I know it's a Switch to do. is switched over. Awesome. The gate in front of you should have just closed. Am I correct? Uh, <laughs> I see a closed green gate over. Oh, perfect. Okay. So from the closed green gate, I want you to exit through the way you entered the room, through the blue gate, uh, go left, and then this time go... Uh, Wait, go right, and then this time go left at the T-junction. Oh, darn it. <laughs> left at the T. Uh, confirmed. Over. Perfect. So, now that... Okay, if you keep following the T-junction after going left, you should be back in a room with crates and barrels. 
Um, exit that room uh, using a staircase that should be on your left um, and then move past the open white gate. Don't go in. Copy all that. Completed. Over. All right. So, it dire- or I guess right after the open white gate, there is another passage on your right. Um, go inside there and hit that blue button the second time. I see the blue and I'm heading towards it. Over. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. I think I've got this. Because we need to reopen this. Phallic looking blue switch has been flipped over. Fantastic. Okay, so when you exit this room, this time go right and follow the keep following the staircase until you pass the blue open gate again. Let me know when you've passed it. Under the blue open gate, over. Perfect. So as you go through the blue open gate, you're going to either ascend or descend a set of stairs. You're going to enter a room. Uh, Look to your right. You should see an open green gate now where there was a closed green gate. Go inside that room. There's a red switch. Hit it. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of (laughs) fun. The red switch has been switched over. Fantastic. Now, exit that room from the same way you came. Was that green? Over? Yes. So through the open green gate and then go left down the stairs and back through that open blue gate. Because this red one will be closed now. And through the open blue. Over. Perfect. Um, keep following the blue until, or keep following that hallway. Don't make any turns until you pass the, sorry, recalibrating. So through the open blue gate, keep following that passage until you hit a set of stairs on your left. Immediately go through that room and hit that blue switch again. Copy that. Heading for blue switch. Oh, perfect. 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 It has been switched. Amazing. So now when you exit that room, go left. Uh, You'll go up a set of stairs into a room with barrels. Um, Then go right down a set of stairs until you hit that T-junction. And let me know when you hit the T-junction. Stairs were opposite directions. Oh, sorry. (laughs) To the T. There's a portrait of a dog. Don't worry about it. Perfect. Okay, so from that T-junction, go right and then immediately left. You should pass through an open blue gate. Did it. All right. Uh, Hit that green switch. Oh, yeah. All right. You should be able to go through that open green gate now that's just up the stairs. And then directly on your left, there should be an open red gate. You go up those stairs and you're home free, B2. Over. Checkpoint reach. 10-4, 10 Over, <laughs> over, and out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes! You're free. <laughs> Good directions. Very impressed. I would go on a long road trip with you. What? No, that is like no the GPS. best compliment you can give someone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This feels like a great moment that maybe uh, – we could dig into our Fab Fit Fun boxes, and you could show me what you got. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! So I, I took I took off my little eye patches, and yeah, like I feel all refreshed and bright. Help me keep my cool during that nap map navigation. Um, it was some serious navigation. Your <laughs> skills are beyond compare. I'm very proud of you. Aw, thank you. You did fabulously as well. Um, I think my next favorite thing is like this like really soft Vera Bradley pouch. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh. And it has like this floral pattern on the inside. And I don't know. It just feels really luxurious and nice for like putting my makeup brushes in or like when I'm traveling. I know that like none of us can travel right now, but. (laughs) What is travel? (laughs) Right. Oh my gosh. And it has like this pouch that opens flat. Oh, that's nice. So you can kind of like 
I don't know, like when you're doing your makeup, you can like open it and have it like that versus like trying to dig through the pouch portion, like the stuff you use frequently. You can just put up here. So you can actually find it and not have to take everything out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one by one. Yeah, no, this is really nice. I really like it. Oh, heck yeah. I also got uh, a makeup item. I have Aesthetica Liquid Eyeliner. <sighs> and I'm not even wearing any. I might put this on right now. Do it. Do it. You know me. I'm always a fan of winged eyeliner. You are... The queen of wingedness. <laughs> Let's see if I can wing this. Oh, wow. I have a whole um, <laughs> wing-shaped mark on my cheek. That's uh, where my makeup was on and then off. <laughs> oh, from the <laughs> from the eye patches? Mm-hmm. Every time I say eye patches, I wonder, like, for a flash sec or a split second in my brain, I just think of, like, a pirate eye patch before then I correct. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, my, my dear brother-in-law uh, lost his sight in one eye in a ski accident in mm -hmm. high school, and uh, he had to wear an eye patch in high school for several years. Oh, man. High and school kids are guy ruthless. Now he never know, but yeah. like, right? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like to do the um, crisscross my elbows completely. What? <laughs> to keep it steady. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh well, yeah, it goes on really smooth. What else you got? Oh, um, I've also got. I guess since we're doing makeup items, I've got blush here. <gasps> Ooh, I've heard that's a great blush. The Phase Zero Making Moves Blush. If I can open it, I'm not actually wearing blush right now, so I can throw some on. You just naturally glow. Oh, thank you. Ooh, that, okay. I don't want to like, that's actually a really nice light color. It'll look really nice and subtle, I think. It's got a little bit of- You can't of just throw blush on willy nilly. It's got to be a, a planned action. Eyeliner, different story. No, it looks oh. really pretty. I really oh, like thank it. thank you. It has such a nice fine tip that, uh, it was so easy to not mess it up. Sometimes I have to go back through with a Q-tip and take off eyeliner because I smeared it all over. Mm -hmm. But this is such a fine point that that didn't happen. That was actually my first time putting it on and I uh, feel pretty good about it. Very nice. Yeah, the Thank blush you. is a nice coral <laughs> color. I put on way too much because that's usually what I do because then I buff it out. Ooh, I also kind of like, like the whole running a fever look. So I always take it over like the bridge of my nose so you look like a little like like you know like you're rosy because when people get like hot or, or flushed they never just get like flushed in their cheeks you usually get like a little flushed all over can so. i tell you a deeply insightful reason why blush is important hmm. because humans are the only species that can blush and it's really it was crucial to our evolution because humans evolved as such a social species that blushing is a way to know if someone's feeling shame and and that's such a, a crucial social skill and megalomaniacs are people who gain too much power or in a sort of machiavellian sense lose the ability to blush because they stop feeling shame so if somebody can't blush then that's like a reason to not trust them if they can't blush don't call them back mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know that but now i'm thinking about it. i'm like yeah i've never seen another species blush yeah no we're the only ones oh and my gosh so special you know what's great is that blushing is one of those things that knows no language Sorry, I'm getting like kind of like gushy here, but it's you know how like I there's like it. those things that like cross cultural and like language barriers. I feel like blushing is one of those. Like when people blush, like you don't need to share a language to know what they're feeling. Exactly. <laughs> it shows their true emotion. It's something you can't hide, too. Yeah. I mean, trust me, I try as a on camera person. <laughs> I'm always trying to control my emotions, tell myself not to be nervous mm -hmm. and everything else. But you can't help but blush. Mm -mm. When your face turns red, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's an honest human feeling right there. I also think it's cute. Like, I'm one of those people, like, if I love eating spicy food because I love, like, a good flush. I don't... <laughs> I just feel like that's it makes why you your face... Yeah, that's, like, part of the reason why. You get, like, a little bit of a pepper high. Your endorphins kind of start pumping. And then you get this, like, really nice flush and this really nice dewy complexion. And then you get the whole flush of your system. Mm -hmm. No, that different kind of flush. <laughs> 
That leads to another flush. Oh, good. <laughs> I did it. I made it blue. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try one more puzzle today. I don't think we're going to escape from this whole castle, but I'm going to I want to get another puzzle done cuz that one was very satisfying. Yeah, get like one step closer. Yeah. Ooh, I found snow. Oh, got to go. We're, we'll switch yes. to our walkie-talkie yes. only. Yes, I'll see you in there. B2, this is B1, over. Uh, B1, this is B2, over. You mentioned something about snow. Lots of snow. I'm in a courtyard and it is chilly. And I feel like every time I'm on the walkie, I need to do sort of a trucker voice. Over. <laughs> that is fair. I am also fighting that same compulsion over. <gasps> Chessboard found over. <gasps> Chessboard found. Okay. I have been waiting for this moment. We're going to take this. We're going to go here. We're going to we're gonna do this. Are we going to start with a queen's gambit or maybe a rook's oh, pawn gosh. to oh, God. Q oh! over? Where did it go? Please tell me it clipped through the floor. Okay, it respawned. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ooh, some sort of generator. Uh, uh, with a button and a crank, but I can't push the crank. Huh? There we go. Okay, we've got. Okay, and then we do purple door. I'm sure that will open. <gasps> I need other alcove. spinnies. Okay. 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 Ooh. Where do I get other other spinnies? Wow. The beggar. One of the seven. I don't think that's it. No. Um There's got to be a cog. B1, or... what kind of chess we playing here? Over. Uh, uh B2, I've I've got a reel that says world's greatest chess moves. Um I'm trying to figure out a way to play it. Over. There's got to be a cog or Gappy. A way to oh, operate gosh. I can't this move the machinery. pieces because I'm not getting the big circle. I don't I'll think. Just walk on their heads. Okay. <gasps> My screen's freezing over. It might be getting frostbitey out here. Over. Oh, that is not good, B2. I'm going to try to hustle here. Over. That's the light. I don't think I've that's I've also gonna... got a generator with the red button, but I can't push it. Over. A, a generator with a red button. Don't know if it's relevant or just flavor. Over. But there is a woman. Sorry, not over. There is a, a woman statue. I don't know if it's a woman. But they're wearing a hood and have their hands out in front of them. Over. Affirmative. Investigating. I wonder if there is something in here so that I can... Okay, so there's got to be, there's, oh, wow. no, there's got to be Same another thing. room. So there's a woman with Same her thing. hands out. And oh. we need another cog It's wheel. getting extra frosty over. Okay, okay. Um, uh, do, do you, uh, this generator with a button. Talk to I me about it. I found a button I could push. It's um some sort of, of t temperature gauge. I'm frozen solid over. Oh, that is not good. What is this? This Did says I starting die? in the west corner. That can't be it. What is this? I might die here. Over. Before one starts in the east. That can't be right. Uh, I, I, I'm not figuring out a way to turn on the projector. Over. <laughs> oh, God. She's going to freeze. This might be it for me. Over. Please tell. Not over. Tell my dogs I love them. Over. I'm so sorry, B2. Uh, uh, is there anything you can interact with? I think there was, but I took too long to find that next to the generator there was some sort of temperature gauge that I needed to activate, and I just found it right before I froze. Over. No! <laughs> B2, hang in there! Oh. I, I wonder if there's any way to Wait help now that they are frozen. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening? Uh, <laughs> oh, eat. no. I'm trying oh, to... Oh, I see. I see. <gasps> I think I figured out how to get myself out of this mess. Over. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. This is useful. 
I'm I trying to e see if there's every time on the green. There, there has to. I think she has to have the other piece of this puzzle because I've gone down there. There's nothing down there. It's very hard to there's see. There's nothing over here. I think there might be something in that room, but I think she might have okay, to. Okay, I got me with something that. going over. Are Are you alive? Are you safe, B two? Uh. Uh. Um, Did I open this door? Maybe. No. See, but th those symbols uh, not so would much have something over. to correspond to. Can you interact with the statue at all? Over? Uh, let me try. Over. Okay, so this... There has to be something that goes here. I get three green lights on my machine now. Over. Amazing. Um, there's a projector here with with that has chess moves on it. I am not managing to find a cog to put in to operate it. Hmm. Tricky. Over. Trying to ascertain whether or not there might be a clue on your end. Over. My vision is very limited by frost over. <laughs> oh, I found something. I found a button. I could turn a crank over. Uh, t uh turn that crank, please, B2. Crank a turn and over. What is that? What is that affecting? I can move chess pieces now over. Oh, fantastic. Uh, let me look for this piece that I got to get through. Um, I might have moved the wrong one over. There's got to be... Yeah. Okay. <gasps> okay. Oh, no! B2, I am so sorry oh, I failed you. What okay. a horrible way uh, to die. Jasmine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I froze to death. Oh, they can't hear me because it's the death screen. I'm sorry, Becca. <laughs> Wherever you are out there in the ether, I won't forget you. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We'll just start again from the checkpoint. It's going to be fine, okay. right? <gasps> I'm oh back. Oh, my goodness. This time we have this. I have every faith in my mind. I'm really excited. Now that I know how to not freeze to death, mm -hmm. I have plans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. Game face. I believe in you, B1. <laughs> I believe in you too, B2. I don't know if she heard that, but she knows it in her heart, I'm sure. No, I can't hear you anymore. All right, so <laughs> we get the projector reel, and then I think we have to figure out a way to power or a way to turn the thing so it actually films. I'm not in yet. It's a very scientific <laughs> process. I'm in. B1, I'm now in. Glad to have you back, B2. Okay, so we've got this. Let's take this up here. Ooh, this is how okay, you start a generator. I just, a dropped, generator. I just yeah. dropped it. Yeah. That's fine. This is it. You wait for the temperature dial and hit the button. Oh, I'm so good at this. And go. Activated. That's a new sound. Let's go turn that crank. That sound did not occur before. Ha! Shortcut. Cranks are rolling. Ready for some chess. Over. Okay. 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 So now, I believe... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay, okay, okay. What did I miss? <gasps> Here we go. All right. I need you to move E4. Or sorry, sorry, E2 to E4. <sighs> uh, okay, mm. well, let's let's um, let her off real quick and number off. Uh, Whiteside, 
Y- yes, white side. E2 to E4. On white side's left or white side's right? Um, if you're facing, B, B, looking C, at white side, B. let's say A starts at left and H is the far right. And then count, start A, B, numbering C, from D, 1 B. to 8, starting with 1 at that A spot. Does that make sense? Queen's Gambit then. Copy that. Okay, so she's going to go E2 to E4. Queen's pawn moved up to? Perfect. And then we're going to move F1. Wait. Uh, B, B1? Uh, did, did black move? Nope, think that's us. Oh, we are black. Okay, in that case, move E7 to E5. E7 to E5. I almost feel like I need a pen for this. And so that's the same column right in front of the, uh, the, fr- the, the white pawn, yeah? Correct. Okay. And then e- we're going to move F1. E7 to, to E5. E5. Getting Perfect. frostier. See less. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Over? We're on a speed, speedy constraint. Over. All right, gotcha. Uh, now I need you to move the white bishop from F1 to C4, the same row as the white pawn, if that makes it easier. Somehow we reset. Ha! Huh. Okay, uh, maybe I think there might be a time constraint. So just move up the two pawns to the same location. So uh, I'm taking, I'm taking won't notes move now. Anymore. So we want uh, the two pawns were in the right position because they'll so just move those back to where they were. And then yeah, the bishop moves diagonally. A, B, C, D. And then the pawn e. moves up. Okay. E won't move anymore. Uh, e two. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. E two will not move. Uh, it can't move, uh, diagonally? Or, sorry, uh, forward to? Sorry, trying to remember which one E2 is. It's not letting us do that opening. Maybe we should move on? It's letting me move other pawns. Uh, did the board reset? The board reset. Um, okay. That's a bit interesting. (laughs) Uh... My directions involve uh, E2, and uh, it's opposite. It's opposite pawn. I need to. I need to. Okay, I'm writing this down because this happened. It's happening too quickly. Okay, so it move. We move. I think I might be dying here again. Over. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So we move E2 to E4. Right? Yes. And then we. Every move, move is legal except that one. F1 to C4. B, C, D, E. I like how me and Beck are both feverishly moving so she doesn't. <laughs> Why does everything in this place only work for four seconds? <laughs> okay. So then we move F1 to Death C4. Death is feeling inevitable over and out. <laughs> we'll get it on the next one. <laughs> 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 Next time it is. <laughs> and then we're going to move B7 to B6. Or we'll just say B7 forward one. Oh, gosh. By the time it takes me to write this down, I, I'm just going to... We're going to... Listen. We're going to strategize. We're going to cheat. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to memorize this. And when, <laughs> when, 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 mm. when Becca inevitably freezes to death... And we restart. Oh my I'm going to have a perfect well, uh, turn order. You no, know, did my best okay. here. So yes, uh, did then and then B seven is going to come down do. one. Oh. And then what moves? That's the part. Oh, and then we death. move the king but, uh, to F three. Uh, okay, okay, Queen's Gambit. Uh, and then we move we the knight, I believe. Oh. And now we're reset. And wait, now, but where uh, where did we move the knight? I think it was right next to. I believe we moved the knight right next to the pawn. Hey there, B1. I definitely quit when I could have hit retry last time. Found that out. 
<laughs> oh, well, you know, you live and you learn. I uh, definitely didn't start writing down the chess piece movements until halfway through that last attempt. <laughs> I think we have it this time. Hey, yeah, live and you learn. Yeah, no, I think we have it this time. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think we have it this time, B2. I have faith. Now I know how the numbering and lettering works. We got this. A, B, C, one, two, three. Okay, A, so then B, C, D, B, E. Yeah. And then the bishop moves there. So that's and then the, the pawn comes down. The king. And then the king moves there. And then the knight moves. All righty, so I was up. backwards. We're moving the king's pawn first, not the queen's. Yes. That is correct, B2. A, one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we're going to move the king forward to take the pawn. E2 has been moved and the black piece as well. And then next we move the bishop. That is correct, B2. You're going to want to move that to C4. So that's the same row as that white pawn. Over. E1 to E4. Oh, whatever. It's done. All right. And then you're going to want to move B7 up 1 to B6. Done. Perfect. Now you're going to want to move the queen to F3. Uh, F1, 2, 3. Completed. Now, do you see that black knight behind the second pawn we moved? Go ahead and move that up to that pawn right next to it. Um, so you'll be moving it to the C position, C column. 10, 4. Perfect. Um, now, go ahead and move the queen directly forward until she takes the first pawn that she comes across. Yes! Dead pawn over. <laughs> Mission accomplished, B2. I'm very proud of you. Over. Queen's Gambit, baby! We did it! Hey. <sighs> Look at us. All right, Look at us. Who would have who would have thought who uh, would have imagined we'd be here? It's red hair, so um <laughs> that's what we're going with. Do we Fantastic. Do it? That door is still locked. I'm still locked in here. <sighs> wow, we're incredible. All right. Jasmine Bular, you are incredible. We have gotten through yet another checkpoint and there's no one I'd rather go on missions with. Let's let's call it a day for puzzle solving, eh? Yes, we'll come back and I will definitely rescue you from your castle, milady. Oh my goodness. Did you like it? I did. This was actually really fun. This is the new version of Girls Night in the <laughs> Yeah. The 2020 version. I know. This is 2020 Girls Night in exactly. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, I mean, um puzzle games are You've got to have the right partner to do them with. And I'm so glad that we got to play together. You were so good at giving directions and you always kept your cool. And that was awesome. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry I got you killed twice, but I'm really happy we played together, too. This was a lot of no, fun. No, I didn't know where A and, and E were. That's all on me. <laughs> I need to work on the alphabet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This was so fun. And I have no Yay. doubt that, like... Next time we decide to get together for a girls' night in with face masks and makeup, we're gonna beat it. I mean, yeah, that's that's what we were just really we were practicing and uh, <laughs> building up to the ultimate. Uh, <laughs> but this was so great, and um, let me just let me just take my little um, noir hair bands here <laughs> for one little more fab fit fun moment. <laughs> Because uh, what else are you going to do with cheetah print scrunchies than make pigtails, I think, is um, just the correct answer here. I have this really <laughs> nice uh, velvet that ma it almost perfectly matches my shirt <gasps> headband, and I'm just going to... Oh, your chocolate brown shirt and <laughs> headband? 
Just kidding. We don't really. talk about that. We don't talk about how I sometimes think my chocolate, my shirt is chocolate brown when it's maroon. Oh, you look so cute in that headband. Right? I'm all ready to go. I'm all ready for... Uh, I like the little bow that sits right on top. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It actually looks adorable. It makes me look very well. extra, you know? Uh, yeah, if you were to, if I were a waiter and you, you were to come into my restaurant and just throw a glass of water in my face, right. I would accept that. And personally, I just feel like Dorothy now. <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Playing dress up. I just got prescription glasses for the first time. Oh, so really? I feel like a real gl- grown up with bad eyesight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you are. Yeah, you know, it's I like a new threshold. It's a, it's a new threshold when you need glasses just to function. Yeah, it's the ultimate adulting, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you've got to be responsible enough to find your way to an optometrist. So yes. there's that. Yes. And now you also have to be responsible for where you put your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. This is the whole new worry I never even thought about. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jasmine, thank Mm -hmm. you so much again for playing with me today. Can you tell everybody where they can find you on the internet, perhaps? Yes, of course. Hi, hello, everyone. I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl, Bular. Uh, You can find me on Twitch at that bronze girl. I'm a full time streamer. You can also find me on Twitter, uh, which is the easiest way to keep track of all the crazy things I do. You are up to all kinds of crazy things. We won't even try. You're always playing games, doing things on the internet and streaming. So please go check her out. And uh, check out FabFitFun. If this looked cool to you, please go pick up a box, FabFitFun.com. And we have a promo code. It's probably here on screen. You can use that to get a big discount on your first box. And if you want to play We Were Here, it's actually free on Steam on both PC and Mac. At least this first one. I think they have two other releases under um, the Total Mayhem Games title. So go check it out. And thanks so much for watching. Take care.